In his words, a man is called twice in his life, once at birth and then in death. Chinua Achebe's words are now silent, having answered that last call. We thank the Lord for the greatest benefits you are giving us through this. Talents, we thank you for all the lives you touched. Yeah. Both, both Achebe died in the United States in March. Many came to see him brought home, to send him off in a grand and colorful way. Here at the church, it was a celebration of his life and accomplishments. For both the guests and the family. Among the guests, President Goodluck Jonathan and Ghana's John Dramani Mahama. If we are telling Ashibe today, who wrote this book, there was a country. It is for us and our official leaders who work very hard to make sure that probably when the Ashibe Junior, by the time he will come and write, you will write that here is the country. May God guide and protect you on your journey home. May you rest in perfect and eternal peace. And I dare say, Chinua Achebe will never die. Chinua Achebe is widely considered as the father of African literature. His debut novel, Things Fall Apart, sold more than 20 million copies. He was fiercely critical of injustice across the continent. But for now, other Africans will take up that torch. For Achebe, it is time to rest. Aduria Chumba, Ogidi, Nigeria. News that moves. ENCA.com.